creating adaptive launcher icons. Well currently we are in section 3 and we are about to check out the last video that is 6th video of this section. And this video is the continuation of the previous video. So make sure you check that out. Let us now proceed and check out how to create launcher icon for our application. Well by default our application has a launcher icon which looks like this. So let us go ahead and customize it. So head back to the Android studio. And now we store the launcher icon within the resource mipmap folder which you can find it here. And currently we are working under the project view. So let us go ahead and change it to the Android view. And then within the mipmap folder currently we have the default launcher icons. So let us create our own launcher icon. So right click, go to new and right now I am going to use the image asset. Which will open the image asset studio. Well this studio is basically meant to generate the raster drawables. So currently we are interested to generate the launcher icons. You can also generate other kinds of icon such as action bar or tab icons, even the notification icon. And on the top if you notice we have two options. The first is the launcher icon, adaptive and legacy and the second one is only the legacy. Now in case you are targeting the versions below Oreo then simply go for legacy only. But right now we have targeted the Oreo devices as well. So I will go for adaptive and legacy launcher icons. And now move ahead and change the name of the launcher icon. Such as I will use IC underscore app. And as mentioned in the previous video, the adaptive launcher icon contains two layer. The first is the foreground and the second one is the background layer. So first let us talk about the foreground layer. Let us define the name of the layer such as IC app underscore foreground. And for the foreground layer you can use custom image, predefined image and even the text. In the predefined image you will find all the predefined icons. In the text you can use text as a foreground layer. But right now I am interested to use the custom image that will suit my brand. Give the part to the image. Well you can download this appicon.png from the link provided in the description. So make sure you download it and simply import it. Now whenever you are creating the launcher icon, make sure your raster drawable should have the minimum dimension of 512 by 512. Why is it so? I will let you know shortly. Let us import the icon and then let us trim down our image. Now within the preview window, if you notice we have a checkbox show save zone. If you check it then it will simply show you a circle. Well this circle is simply giving you a hint that your icon should always lie within the circle. So I will now resize my icon and make it almost 70% so that my icon lies within the circle. And now move to the background layer and here again I can use either color or the image as the background layer. Right now I will use color and give the color value such as F05A28. Click on choose how our launcher icon will look like in all the mask such as circle, squircle, rounded square, square and then we have legacy icon and also round icon. Now in the end we have google play store icon. Well the image asset studio will also generate this icon and this icon will be used when you will prepare the store listing and publish your application on the google play store. So in that case this icon will be used. And the dimension of this icon is 512 by 512. So that's why I told you to use the icon dimension as 512 by 512. Perfect. Now in the end we have legacy. Now under legacy it will show you to generate the launcher icons for the lower android versions. That is below android oreo. Such as here we have below android oreo versions. If you want you can select the shape of that launcher icon for those versions from circle, square, vertical and horizontal. I will keep it square. So here on the right we have the legacy icon. And now next we have the round icon for the android nougat. Which you can find here on the right round icon. Perfect. And at last we have google play store icon. If you want you can generate it or you can skip it. 
click on next and there you will find all the files that will be generated such as for each of the screen density such as MDPI, HDPI, XHDPI, XXXDPI and also XXXDPI we have all the respective icons in place with specified dimensions so we don't have to worry about resizing the image manually perfect hit on finish now right now I will delete IC launcher and also IC launcher round which was the default launcher icon earlier right click and click on delete for now select delete anyway Perfect. So within the MIPMAP folder, we have three versions of the raster graphic. To get a broader look of the folders, let us switch back to the project view. So there we go. Firstly, we have MIPMAP-NEDPI-V26. Well, this folder will be applicable for the Oreo devices with any screen density. So here again, you can learn something new. We can use multiple resource qualifier with the default folder name as well. For example, here any DPI is actually a resource qualifier, followed by V26 which is another resource qualifier. Now if you expand it, you will find icapp.xml and there we have adaptive icon tag. Now this adaptive icon has two layers. The first is the background layer which points to the orange color which you can find within values and there you will find iclauncher background.xml which contains the value of orange. Similarly, we have the foreground layer which points to the raster graphic that is IC app foreground present within the MIPMAP folder which you can find within all of these folder of MIPMAP SDPI, MDPI and so on. So here we have IC app foreground in all the respective folders. If you open it, then you will find the foreground layer of icon. Now as mentioned, MIPMAP NEDPI V26 will be called for Oreo onwards devices. So this means that rest of the folders will be called for lower Android versions. But if you notice here we have the foreground layer as IC app foreground. So for the Oreo devices, we are actually storing IC app foreground in the respective density folders. So this means that the IC app foreground image will be used for the Oreo devices as well. Perfect. Now the question arises how to update the launcher icon. So for that we have to move to the manifest file. So switch back to android and on the top we have android manifest.xml and there we have android icon and also android round icon. Now based on the device configuration and also the android version either of these two will be called. So make sure you include android icon and also Android round icon within your application. So for the icon I will use IC underscore app and for the round icon I will use IC underscore app underscore round. Perfect. And now you can test your application by running it across different devices. Let us close the application. Here I am using Pixel 2 as an emulator. So in Pixel 2 in Android Oreo my launcher icon appears to be as a round icon. And in my Samsung Galaxy S9, the launcher icon of the same application appears to be in the squircle shape. And of course it is possible that few of the devices might have square shape. So this is how we generate the launcher icon for the application. So with this we have reached the end of this section. Well, in this section, we learned pretty much about how to handle drawable files for different screen densities. First, we got the introduction to drawable files such as what are raster drawable, what are vector drawable and what are the differences between these two. Then we saw how to implement drawables for multiple screens by using Image Asset Studio as well as Vector Asset Studio. And in the end, we saw how to create adaptive launcher icons for your application. Perfect. So in this way we have covered the last part of this course as well. So in the next section, let us explore more.